Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. Square root of 2x plus x equals 2. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to take this to the other side. So we're having square root of 2x equals 2 minus x. Now we can take the square of both sides. So we will square this and group this and square. Remember this will go with this. Now 2x is alone and it's equal to 2 minus x in two places, 2 minus x because of the square on it, right? Now, 2x is alone, and it will be equal to 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times minus x is minus 2x, minus x times 2 is minus 2x, and minus x times minus x will give us plus x squared. Now, here we have 2x minus okay equals equals to 4 then put these two together to get minus 4x then i have plus x squared so from here what do i do let's arrange this in a better way because this is already a quadratic equation so i'm going to begin with this and that is x squared this is minus 4x so I'll write this first, it becomes minus 2x, then this plus 4 will appear, and everything is now equals to 0. x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0. This is because minus 4x minus 2x will give us minus 6x. Now, what again do we do? we are going to use the formula method for this and the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything over 2 times a so now the next thing is how do we get our abc a is a coefficient of x squared so our a is 1, b is a coefficient of x, meaning that our b is also okay, is equal to negative 6. Now our c is the constant, right? And that is 4. So the next thing is to put all of this into the formula. Okay, so our x will now be equal to the place of minus b, I write minus, minus 6, then plus or minus, we have b squared, that will be minus 6 squared. If you do not put this in bracket, you will have a wrong answer, because minus 6 squared is not the same as what we have here because of this bracket. Then minus, we have 4 times a is 1, then times c, and our c is 4. So we divide all of this by 2 times 1. Now our x equals negative negative will give positive. Then plus or minus, minus 6 squared will give 36. Then minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. So we divide this by 2. Now our x is equal to 6 plus or minus. We subtract this and we shall have 20, right? So we write our 20 down here. And then we divide it by 2. You know, we can be tempted to divide by 2 already, but that would be wrong. Because we need a factor from here before we can divide all through by 2. Now x is equal to 6 
plus or minus 20 here is the same as 4 times 5. So we write 4 multiplied by 5. And now 4 is a perfect square. Okay, so we divide this by 2. Now our x will be equal to 6 plus or minus. We will we'll bring out the square root of 4, and that is 2. Then we have root 5. Then we divide by 2. Now we can divide so that 2 can go there and the same 2 will go here. So that our x will now be equal to 2 into 6 is 3 plus or minus 2 into 2 will be 1. 1 times root 5 is the same root 5. So what are we now saying? We are saying that x is equal to 3 plus square root of 5 or 3 minus square root of 5. So this will be the two values of x. But it is obvious that the both of them cannot satisfy the given equation. Okay, so let's pick out the one that will be satisfying. So x is equal to 3 plus square root of 4 is approximately 2.24. Or on this side we have 3 minus square root of 5 is approximately 2.24. So we are going to add this up and our x will be equal to 3 plus 2.24 will be 5.24, right? So this becomes the value of x for this. Or on the other side, if you subtract this, you have 0.76. So this becomes the two values of x. But it is obvious, it is obvious that both of them cannot satisfy. Let's look at the equation itself. Okay, so here we have the equation and we're having x to be 5.2.24 or 0 0.76. So it is obvious that this cannot satisfy because if we put this here it is already more than two so this has to be rejected if we put this in it becomes square root of two multiplied by 0 0.76 then plus here again we have from um, 0.76 so i believe this will satisfy because here we have square root of 1.52 then plus 0 0.76 so let me get the approximate value of the square root of 1.52 okay so the approximate value of this is um, 1.23 then plus 0 0.76 so if we're going to add this then we'll have 3 plus 6, that is 9. 2 plus this, that is also 9. Then point 1 plus 0 is 1. So we're having 1.99. And this is approximately equals to 2. Okay. And it is the same 2 we had on the right-hand side of the equation. Thank you for watching.